guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are going to start decorating my bookshelves for Halloween. In case you're new here, I do very extreme Halloween and Christmas decorating in my office, on my bookshelves. It's a whole thing. It takes a very long time, but it is so worth it. I enjoy it so much, especially the Halloween version. I am doing this towards the end of August because I really need to start filming some fall and Halloween content and it just really helps me to do it early. It takes me so long. I like to enjoy it for an entire like almost two months because of all the work that it takes. What I normally do is I turn all of my books backwards. This is an idea that I got from the hardback hoarder years and years ago. And by turning them backwards, it kind of gives me a blank slate to decorate for Halloween and Christmas. I really like the look, especially for Halloween. It makes it like very like spooky and aesthetic and it's very, very cool. But because I do that, I need to set aside any of the books that I want to read for the rest of the year. I know for some of you, this sounds intense and crazy, but I do a lot of my reading on audio, so I technically won't have to like find any of these books to physically read them. I'll just need them for photos and things. I will take all of my fall Halloween witchy vampire books and I put them in my bedroom and I decorate a shelf in there and then I move my bedroom books to these shelves in here. Do like a whole swap and then I set aside anything else that I want to read. Holiday books are already in a different section. I will mostly be finishing up some series as well so those will all be set aside. But everything else is going to get turned backwards and then we just do a whole bunch of things with like creepy cloth and different decor. I normally do the aesthetic as black and white or gray, black, and white. But this year we're going to add in some red because I use a lot of my spooky books as like a focal point and a lot of them have red in them. So we're going to go with like a Dracula vampire-y thing. We're going to have a vampire fall Halloween. That's why I've decided I need to read more vampire books anyway. So we're putting some red items in here. I don't have a ton of red items, but we're going to get some more along the way. I have my Stranger Things tank top on that I got from Angie Belmar, who I will link her Halloween videos down below as well because she does amazing decorating and decor. She does a whole not so scary YouTube party. That's where I got the idea to do that for the readathon is because she does a like not so scary series on her channel. She's not a booktuber, but I was like, ooh, we're gonna do a not so scary reading party, which is my next Halloween fall themed readathon. Stay tuned for that announcement. It may already be up. I haven't decided what order I'm gonna put these videos in, but I need to get this done so that I can put the announcement video up because I need to do it a month in advance. So you may have already seen that. I have my poison apple cup filled with iced tea because it is very warm. We're gonna see how far I can get in here because I don't have air conditioner in my office and it's very, very hot. Today is also the 12th day of Retoldathon and I am filming two videos at the same time, which I have never done before because I just need to get these done so I can put up videos for next week. Because of that, I'm going to work on the sections that I do not need to film for Retoldathon. I have two days left and I wanna have one of the bookshelves be normal for this kind of a video so that it's not spooky in that video. We like to keep the aesthetics separate if we can. Okay, so I think that is everything you need to know. I'm gonna get started with some things that I don't need to film and then we'll jump in and we'll just make a whole little montage of decorating. I'll check in with you a little bit. I'm gonna be listening to some Retoldathon books because we're still doing the readathon and also some uh, podcasts that I like to listen to. That's the plan for now. I am so excited. I thrive during fall and Halloween and this is kind of like the big kickoff for the beginning of the season. I would make some pumpkin bread if it wasn't like almost 90 today. <laughs> I can't even back out far enough to show you guys. So this is what they look like right now. All clean and organized before I destroy them. So we have three big ones, a skinny one, two little ones. I've got these now over my desk that I did earlier this year. And then I have a smaller bookshelf here that originally was in the living room. and. We're actually going to replace this soon with another one of these skinny ones because it will hold a lot more and then I'll be able to put that shelf back in the living room. So this is what it looks like right now. And I think I'm gonna start over here because it will be the easiest part to finish. So I probably won't film this part because it's a little higher and I'm gonna put away all of this stuff in like the empty Halloween boxes. And then I will start filming over here and you guys can come along 
for the journey. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm actually gonna do the very top shelves first. Again, probably not gonna film those because I don't know if the angle will be very good, but I promise once I get to the lower shelves that I'm gonna be working on, we'll start filming everything. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I've done a big chunk of turning all of the books around. So I'm gonna keep doing that, but I'm gonna put on my headphones so if you see that happen, that's what's happening. I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. I'm getting very sweaty. Hopefully that's not showing up too much on camera. <laughs> are coming along really nicely. I am almost done. I just have to do the little shelf over my desk. This little shelf over here that's like a double layer and add a few more trinkety things. I don't think I'm going to film any more montages because I kind of have to move the camera all around. So I'm just going to finish. When I'm done, I will give you guys a tour of what everything looks like. Also, I'm like slowly falling apart. Like my little hair buns are falling out and I'm getting very sleepy. I did pretty good heat wise today. It was definitely warm in here, but we pulled through and we got most of it done. And I did most of the shelf in my bedroom also. So I won't show you that one in this video cause I'll do it in the house tour, but hey. Okay, you guys, it has been about a week since I started this whole thing. It didn't take me that long to finish it, but then I started like finishing the rest of the house and getting everything clean, and I wanted to grab a couple more like spiders and things to put up. Officially done. I'm so excited. We are ready for the fall spooky season. It's going to be amazing to have these for like Instagram and videos, and oh, I'm so excited for it. So I'm going to take you and show you everything now. Okay, it is hard to show you everything. So we'll start over here. We put this haunted house photo here. I've got a new haunted house here. My deadly nightshade jar, just some hands. I've got this crystal book, which kind of doesn't go because it's purple. My Halloween countdown, which I need to change the numbers on. And then this I need to paint. I put up all the creepy cloth. I added some spiders, which I need to get some more of. All my little skeletons. I need to fix the lace up here. I need Jeff's help because it keeps falling off. I have a few red items like this skeleton bust and this red jar and things to go with the red books that I have in here. I've got my Six of Crows duology because the colors match. I think overall it looks amazing. Not too different from last year, but a little different. I have a haunted house that I'm gonna put here, but I have to fix something on it before I can do that. And then over here, I have all of my spooky books that I've already read that I need to use for photos and videos. I wound up putting this giant book hand up here. I had nowhere else to put it where it looked not so crazy because it's huge and it lights up and things. I'll light all of these things up when I do my Halloween house tour, but it's so cool. So a bunch of recommendations for you. 
All right, we have my desk over here. I pulled the chair out so I could show you a little bit better. I've got a gothic ambiance going. This little ghost candle and this red skeleton hand. I have this new runner, which I really like. I use table runners for my desk and things. A couple of my favorite plates from Target I use for coasters. There's a new mug this year and then a candle. And then just a mug full of pins. And then up top here, I just put some lace and some skeletons. I need to put a couple skeletons at the very top. And I also have my witch painting over here. And in the corner, excuse the not so pretty lamp, I have this little sign, which was a tray actually that I made into a sign that I got at Target a couple years ago. So I think it looks pretty good overall. And that is going to be it for this video. I may do a little bit more of a detailed tour once I do my Halloween house tour where I go room by room and show you guys all of the decorations throughout the whole house. That will hopefully be up by the end of September, but at the latest sometime in October. I hope you guys enjoyed this silly decorating video. I know it's like extreme and crazy, but I love it so much. It puts me in the mood for fall and Halloween. I hope you got a little inspiration and some good tips if you wanna do something kind of similar in your own house. Honestly, flipping the books backwards, getting some creepy cloth or some lace cloth, some little trinkets from Dollar Tree, using your books as decor and you don't even really have to spend any money to have really awesome looking bookshelves. Get ready for all of the festive themed videos and I will see you guys next time on The Bright Side.